absolutely gutted for them. Yeah, it's a, it is a horrible way to go out, isn't it? And uh, and it is a cruel game. So um, really disappointed right now, but really proud of the players. And that was a message to them in the changing room after, you know, for what the campaign overall, I couldn't be more proud on the journey that they're on. So um, it's it's a horrible way to go out, but hopefully we'll learn and become stronger from having gone through the, the horrible experiences of tonight. Let's talk about that result with Mark now. It was It is the most brutal way to go out. Somebody had to miss, unfortunately. It was Dan James. Yeah, heartbreaking, devastating, disappointing, gutting. All those emotions would have been felt by those players and Wales fans last night, and they'll be feeling them this morning when they wake up. It is the worst way to go out of a competition and to go so close to what would have been a defining summer moment. Wales playing at Euro 2024 in Germany. And, um, yeah, you, you, you always get the situations where there's a hero and a villain. And you can't really say that Dan James is a villain because he had the courage to step up and take a penalty in, in the most pressurised of moments. Uh, and it comes off the back of what has been a, a really good period of time for him. Uh, when you look at what happened at the weekend, he scored on his 50th cap against Finland. Uh, so he got a goal there. He's having his best ever goal scoring season for Leeds, who are currently top of the championship. He's been absolutely superb for them. He's got uh, 12 goals in the championship this season as well. He's been a big part of Daniel Farker's side. He's a massive part of this Wales team. He's only 26 as well, so he's still got a lot of time ahead of him. And also, he had uh, another nice moment, another nice personal family moment this week as well, when he welcomed in the birth of his second child, which he put on Instagram just a couple of days ago. But unfortunately, it'll be Poland that join Group D, Netherlands, Austria and France in Germany. So, yeah, really, really heartbreaking moments for Dan James. He's, he's suffered uh, a real difficult moment there. But off the back of what's happened and the way the team rallied around him off the back of that missed penalty, you get the sense he'll be back bigger, better and stronger. And now he has to focus on trying to return to the Premier League with Leeds. All of the Wales players and staff immediately surrounded James after he missed his penalty. And Rob Page said he was full of respect for James for stepping up at the most crucial point. I've got nothing but respect for all five that stepped up to take them. Uh, have you spoken to Dan? Yeah, straight away. Straight away went on to him. We win and lose together, so we all take responsibility. I got nothing but respect for DJ. He's had to go on and play wing back. He's not a wing back. He's a he's a left winger. Um that plays right right side of a three for, for Leeds or right wing for Leeds. So he's played right wing back. We wanted to make a positive change. We didn't want to put a defender on, we wanted to try to go and win the game in the ninety minutes. And um I got nothing but respect for him. They've been excellent for seven, eight, eight games now. I mean, Ampadu's in tears now. I'm, I'm almost in tears. I mean, it's devastating. I feel for Dan James missing the penalty as he gets all the hugs. But I tell you what, it's, it's heartbreak. It's heartbreak. But I tell you what, this is a very good position that Wales are in. This is a good team. Aaron Ramsey, the captain, didn't even come on. Mm. Um, you had Broadhead come on. You had Brooks come on. Um, you know, so it's... I mean, it's devastating, really. Questions now, Mark, over the future of manager Rob Page. He's led Wales at two major tournaments, but his contract, it does take him up to the next World Cup, which is in North America. So, I mean, I'm assuming he wants to stay on. Yes, absolutely. He'd be looking at that young team thinking, I can take these to the next level. He was so close to being the first ever Wales manager to co uh, compete and qualify for two major tournaments. No one has ever done that in the history before of Welsh football. So it gives you an indication as to just how close he was to becoming a history maker. He signed a four-year contract in the summer of 2022. So he's going to be with this Wales side until the summer of 2026 after the World Cup. Uh, and of course, when you look at some of the things that he's achieved, over the course of the last few weeks and months, the performances they put in, the quality they've got, that young side, that evolution off the back of Gareth Bale retiring and leaving, leaving the national setup. You can only be positive and optimistic about the future of Welsh football. Let's take a look at some of the records with regards to Rob Page. Certainly at home, they've been really strong this uh, last 23 games. You can see they've won 11, drawn nine, just lost three of them with a win rate of 48%. So that is a, a massive positive for Rob Page and something without question to build upon. We know how good they've been at the Cardiff City Stadium as well. In, contra on con in contrast to that, though, uh, a week away from home, 20 games, 
won four, drawn five, lost 11, just a win rate of 20%. So that, without question, is something for Rob Page to work on. Speaking after the match, the manager believes the future, though, is bright. We've got a great staff, good group of players, and we're going on the right path. We're going on the right path. And there's younger players to be introduced into this group as well. So that's my next, my next name. We haven't got there this time. But now with the games in June, we can use it to start introducing a couple of the other younger players and build on what we've got here because um, they've set it in the changing room, they set it on the pitch with Ben. We're a good group and we're going places. In the last seven, eight games, they've done so, so well. Um, for me, I, I, I don't think there should be pressure on him. I think he's done so well. They've improved. Um, he's shown that he can improve the players and the team. They've played well. They've won games. They've got to a playoff and literally a penalty away from the fourth out of fifth uh, tournament. I think Robert Page is going to be devastated, but they've done very, very well.